Mr. Clark, tell us something. Uh, let's let's start with uh, what is IIDGR all about. IIDGR is all about. Um, trade and consumer confidence in the diamond market. Uh, we offer a range of uh, di polished diamond services from diamond grading uh, through to melee testing service. The only um, product of its type uh, in the world that does 100% full testing. Um, and it's really all about that consumer and trade confidence from the rough all the way through to, um, to the store. Sir, it's interesting uh, to note uh, with the advent of the synthetic diamond business growing. Uh, do you think it's a big advantage for the trade to have a product from IIDGR which comes from De Beers directly? Absolutely. Well, the, the De Beers name is uh, synonymous all over the world, you know, uh, and a, a lot of consumers uh, and everybody in the diamond trade knows knows the De Beers name. Uh, we're growing IIDGR and, and we're, we're trying to get the IIDGR name out there as, as much as we possibly can. It, it really is a, a big focus for, uh, for, for the De Beers group. Um, uh, the, uh, again, you know, grading, instruments and uh, melee testing. Interesting. So tell us something, how do you look at the synthetic diamond business as a whole to grow, which directly will increase business for companies like IIDGR? Well, um, the, the, I think melee testing is incredibly important now. Uh, with, the, with the rise of undisclosed synthetics uh, uh, in, in the, the natural diamond supply chain, uh, it, you know, it is very, very concerning. So the rise of testing services like ours are fundamental to everybody in the polished diamond supply chain. Sir, there are quite a good number of companies already in the melee testing services or maybe melee testing equipment services. How do you look at these products? I'm not talking about a competitive analysis, but generally, uh, how do you look at these products coming into the market in terms of accuracy level and, and uh, the testing services that they offer on a global scale? Well, I'm not going to comment on our competitors' uh, instruments. I think it's, it's good that the industry collectively is taking this issue very seriously and, and, and putting these instruments onto the market. But we are very confident, very, very confident in the accuracy and the robustness of, of our instruments. And on the melee testing service, nobody else offers a full testing service. They're screening services, they're sampling services. We test 100% of everything that we receive um, uh, with, with no hidden extras and no extra referral costs. Nobody else does that in the market. That's interesting. So tell us something, the, the recent development that the DPA will have to authorize these equipments which are used for melee screening or uh, uh, melee testing services. How do you think it will impact the growth of IIDGR as a DBS group company? Well, again, we're very, very confident in our in our instruments. So uh, we're, we're we're also confident that uh, any uh, independent testing, uh, w our instruments would sell through that. So we'd be very happy to subject ourselves, as long as it's a pl level playing field and everybody else does the same as well. Sir, so there are equipments and services which are available now in 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 markets worldwide. Some of them are uh, the world's fastest testing services or uh, newer uh, equipments which are coming in all the way from China and things like that. So why do you think uh, companies should look at IIDGR products, keeping in mind the costs attached to that? Well, you know, we've, we've always got one eye on cost as well, and that's precisely why we opened uh, the world's uh, leading state-of-the-art diamond laboratory here in, uh, in Surat, here in India. Um, so it's all about minimizing that cost, especially for the Indian trade, where, you know, more than 90% of diamonds are cut and polished. So for us, it really is about um, uh, getting those, uh, those diamonds straight from the polishing wheel into a testing environment to confirm that they're tested, sealed in anti-tamper proof evident uh, uh, bags and then out to, to the trade. Uh, sir, uh, tell us something, uh, IIDGR has been present in India actively. Uh, what's been your success ratio in India? What are you looking forward to this particular economy? Well, you know, India is a very important market uh, in, the, in the global uh, diamond trade, and it's incredibly important to us. De Beers has been operating in India in some way, shape or form for many, many, many years. Um, more than half of our site holders are based in India, which shows you the, the might of the Indian diamond industry. So for us, uh, our, our growth and our um, investment is very much centered here uh, in India. We've just spent um, 10 to 15 million dollars on the new state-of-the-art facility in Surat, so we're dedicated to India. 
Sir, lastly, uh, coming close to the AMS as a product of IDGR, how, how has the AMS one, which we can call it for, how has that product done? And, and what do you look forward to offering the trade with the launch, the looked after launch of AMS 2 in Hong Kong show? Yeah. Well, AMS 1 was the first instrument of its type onto the market. And uh, I have to say, you know, we were the, we, we were the only people who could, who could do this at very, very short notice. The AMS 1 um, uh, was suitable for the time. It still works now, and people should still continue to use them. They're still very accurate. Um, so it doesn't mean to say that replacing it with an AMS 2 means that that is, uh, uh, you know, uh, absolutely. But an AMS 2 is going to be a superb piece of uh, 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 kit, absolutely superb. It's going to be better in every way than AMS-1. And we've really worked long and hard trying to research, trying to develop, and trying to get the cost as low as we possibly can uh, on, on this. So we're very, very, very excited about the AMS-2, and we hope the trade will be very, very excited too, and find some co more confidence, ever more confidence that we're releasing this. Sir, research and technology has been the backbone of IIDGR. Tell us something about the research team back end. Who are the people? How many of them are doing this research? What's, what's the kind of the strength of the company behind these kind of products? Well, we're, we're backed by uh, De Beers Technologies. Uh, they're based in uh, a town called Maidenhead in the United Kingdom. Um, there are about 60 scientists, engineers, uh, and, and, and so on, who are dedicated to the science of diamonds and producing technology dedicated solely to diamonds. So um, the, 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 the amount of investment we put into this is, 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 is huge. Um, and that just shows you the dedication that De Beers has to the entire supply chain uh, in diamonds. Uh, De Beers, right the way from mining to ensuring consumer confidence to IIDGR. Thank you so much, Mr. Clark, for speaking to us.